Coder here and today we are going to do a small bug fix and this bug isn't our fault it is Google's fault because they really do dropped the ball on this one and I'm talking about uh, go the Google Maps API it, it doesn't work with this current state of the code it doesn't work for Android 6 and up and that's because uh, Google decided that the permissions that you give on a manifest file just aren't enough. I don't know why they did it. I, in my opinion, it's, it is a stupid move. It only gives uh, us developers and the, the user more work to do. But okay, it, that's what they went with. So we have to, to learn to adapt and to work with it. And just to, to show you why that happens, I have the map here, and don't mind the, the gray background, it is because of the emulator, and I'm going to try to push this latitude and longitude, and as you can see, nothing happens. And that's because of the permission, it may actually crash because of this, so yeah, we are going to learn how to fix this. So let's grab our Uber project, and uh, we'll only better yet. Okay, let's start with the driver map activity. So we must create an intent that that will allow the user to confirm that permission, and the user has to do this for every permission that you add. So in order to do that, we are going to use the function on request permission result because we are going to request a, a permission. So we can do it on the bottom of the file just before on stop because it is a non-vital uh, function for our code. So we've already used this, I believe in the Tinder series, but I'll explain you to you a bit now. And the way the on permission results work is you make an intent for a permission and you give it a number. Or better yet, you, you make an intent and you give it a number. So let's say you make an intent for this permission and you say that permission is number one. So, and it is, this is for redundancy because we are only making this, uh, this request, but as a good form and to make your code look good and easy to upgrade in the future, you are going to make a switch for the request code. Request code. And inside here we are going to have all the permission results that we get from the app. So, it is going to be each re uh, permission will have a number and let's just say location request code and this permission will have the number one and so we simply do a switch and say case request code which is in, in here is equal to uh, location request code then we know that the user has allowed us to, to use the, um, the map, the, the location uh, permission. So, uh, let me just check one thing. Okay, so if the user provides the the permission and we we will double check it in here because this only uh, points us to the end of a permission result it doesn't say doesn't say if it is successful or not so in order to uh, do that we simply say this and grant results zero equal equal package manager dot permission grant and if this happened then we can um, do what we did up here which is the get map and async and it is to force the map to to do its thing and to actually work 
So yeah, then we can make an else and this is for just to let the user know that he won't be able to use the map if he doesn't allow, allow us to, to use the location. So make text get application context comma please provide the permission and you can write whatever you want and you do obviously don't need to have this toast it is just to, to look nice when long dot show and now uh, all we have to do is to make a call for this on permission result. Uh, for, for this permission, not on permission result. The on permission result is what is called when the, the, we ask for permission and that ends. Either with an accept, uh, accept or a deny. So, we do that by going in here and this is where we check for for permissions and the reason why the app stops after we actually build the map is because this if is triggered and we actually use this return and if you take it out it the app would crash because we don't have the permission so in order to actually ask for permission we just use this line of code and you can copy and paste that because it is a bit <laughs> long and obviously you don't need to, to know this by, by, by heart because you don't use it that much so simply say driver map activity dot this comma new string and this is where you ask for a specific permission android dot dot manifest dot permission dot access find location this is important because that's where what we are interested in and now we say the 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 integer that's going to be associated with this request which is location request code and we gave it a, the number of one uh, Oops, I made a mistake. The brackets in here, not there, and there we go. And now to we can double check it. I don't believe in. Uh, yeah, we are going to to put this up top in here and say it just to to make sure. Say if this else, we can actually move on to the map async because otherwise it we don't even have to bother because the user won't be able to use the app after all so yeah um, yeah that's all now we can do the same for the customer map activity and I'll show you where I already have the code in, in here so you just follow along and you can do it as well so again you do in the map async this you can just copy and paste that from the, the previous one which is here then let's move on and go to on map ready okay so again the same thing in here it is just the same that's why i'm not doing the this the these things for both of them and on connected i also have it here i don't believe i have it here uh yeah i already yeah sorry so i forgot Unconnect because I already had this code done and I just erase it in order to explain to you. So go to driver map activity and unconnect. You you also have to to place this here because if you remove it, the problem is if you remove it, then an error will show up. So you must have it and you must be always checking for for this. And obviously in the end, uh, put the on permission result. So. That's all, let's just run the app and hope it finally works and maybe Google could learn something from this lesson, <laughs> let's see.
Okay, so it has finished loading. Let's go into I'm a driver. And as you can see, it requ requests a, a permission. So let's say allow. And when you say allow, as you can see, it automatically got, went to our GPS location, which I have here. So yeah, that's that that bug is is that bug we we within quotes is fixed. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, again, if these uh, lessons are being helpful to you, please do subscribe. It helps me tremendously, and in return, it will help you because it allows me to spend much more time working on these videos and lessons because it has a lot of background work as you can imagine I have to get the code ready so yeah hit that subscribe button I'll see you again tomorrow Ciao.